I started vaping when I was in high school, I was way too young. I wish more than anything that those adults would have asked for my ID rather than just selling to me because I was young and dumb. Over the last several months, I've noticed like shortness of breath, uh, rapid heartbeats, nausea all the time. Um, and recently I've started coughing up blood. So there's something that's typically put in flavored vapes um, that cause popcorn lungs, which is gonna be like scar tissue in your little airways that causes your breathing to get worse and worse until you just can't breathe anymore. I have had an eating disorder on and off. That's just a side effect of nicotine in general. Um, it'll kill your appetite. It has literally been hell trying to quit. It is so much easier to just never touch it than to have to try to get off of it. Jordan, thank you so much for being here this this was not an easy road right no uh, no sir um i think i tried to quit vaping probably three or four times before i actually quit but whenever i finally quit i was going through withdrawals that were like a drug addict it seemed like i had like the cold sweats and shakes i would cry all the time so it was not easy yeah and then the complications and problems were difficult treatment wise, right? Yes, sir. So I actually got lucky. My lung did not collapse before I caught on. Um, I'm not really good about going to the doctor. So I put it off for a couple of months whenever I started feeling really sick. Um, by the time I finally did go, I was already coughing up blood and she just sent me straight to the ER. So, Doc, what all is in here? So in these cartridges, right, so when you're looking at any vape pen and you have this liquid cartridge, you can have many chemicals like propylene glycol, you can have glycerol, and then you have more serious chemicals like diacetyl or formaldehydes because these chemicals are used to flavor, right? And so you have these different flavors. But the thing about it is when you heat up those chemicals and you're increasing that battery power and sucking those chemicals in, chemicals change. The chemical structure literally moves around and you get all sorts of things. And in those liquid cartridges, some of these things are just sold on the black market and made in somebody's house. There can be, there have been pesticides found in these cartridges. There have been, the, there's chemicals in the marijuana cartridges like toluenes that really stimulate that inflammatory response. And there's even fat molecules that they use to cut up the cartridge to add more oomph in the cartridge, it just brings their costs down and you can sell it for more. You put these medium chain triglycerides in those cartridges and it all activates that inflammatory response as soon as you inhale and that's the issue. But that's why she coughed up blood. And they're marketing this to kids. They're making this stuff look like uh, video games, controllers, bright colors, everything marketing this to preteens and teens. Uh, it's, it's insane. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.